All right, the first thing we're going to do to play this easy G chord is take our third finger, one, two, three, and we're going to put it on the third fret, first fret, second fret, third fret, one, two, three, of the first string. Third finger, third fret, first string. Cool. Now, before we play the whole chord, let's see if we can get that note to ring out. So I am going to make sure that I'm pressing hard enough to make a sound. I got it. Now if I didn't quite have it, it might sound like this. That means I'm not pressing hard enough. Okay. Now, another thing to keep in mind is notice how my finger is close to the fret wire, this metal fret wire. My finger is close to that. That makes it easier. If I backed it up here, it would get harder. See that? Okay, so we got our finger close to that fret wire, pressing hard enough to make a sound. Now, we're going to play the first, second, and third string at the same time. There is our G chord. Try it out. Okay. So I want you to take a look at this chord diagram. This is the easy G chord diagram. And see how it looks the same way that your fingers look. So as you can see on the first string, there is a black dot on the third fret, and there's a three inside of it. That is exactly where you put your finger, and the three tells you to use your third finger. There we go. Now the second and third string, there's a zero above those two strings. That zero means play the string open. You could think of it as an O for open. It means no finger. Now notice how there's an X over the fourth, fifth, and sixth string. That means don't play those strings.